I'm making this video out of disgust for those who twist the words and scriptures of any faith in order to promote their own hateful agenda and to persecute those of other religious beliefs. I challenge the members of this club to do this. Imagine that you are born into a Muslim family. You are raised Muslim. Your whole life you participate in Muslim customs and prayers. When you turn 30 or so, someone approaches you and tells you about a savior named Jesus. He or she rebukes you, saying that all you've known your entire life is false. It's a lie that you would go to hell if you don't repent and accept Jesus. Would you convert? Probably not. Now think of all those in the world who fit this situation. Out of no choice of theirs, not that their religion is wrong in the first place, they are raised in some other faith tradition. Do you think God would send them, send them to hell because they weren't Christian by title? How is that person a sinner? That person is just following what he or she has known all his or her life. People of this world have different experiences, live in different environments, and therefore do not all share the same beliefs. God put them in that environment by gifting their parents with them. God does not send innocent, well-intentioned people to hell. Being a Christian is not carrying the title Christian. That means nothing. This club promotes salvation through faith, but true salvation comes from following in the footsteps of Jesus. Jesus came to the earth not to persecute, but to serve, feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, care for the sick. So long as you live a good life as Jesus did, you will be saved. There are plenty of people who parade around claiming to be Christians, but in reality are hypocrites. Jesus condemned people like these, like Sadducees and Pharisees, religious hypocrites. Do you think that such hypocrites deserve salvation more than someone who lacks the title of Christian? Jesus embraced Gentiles. He did not condemn them to hell. Live a good life and love each other. That is all God can ask from us.